Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Motor Dogs Garage. Today we're going to take a look at Arctic Cat's Team Industries primary clutch, some of the issues that are with it, and what it takes to upgrade to the new ADAP clutch. Arcticat started using team clutches in their race sleds starting in 2004. In model year 2016, they began incorporating team primary and secondary clutches in most of their snowmobile models. Performance-wise, these were an improvement over Arcticat's previous design as they ran cooler and featured easy tuning and maintenance. However, the long-term durability of certain team primary clutches has proven to be an issue, especially on the higher horsepower applications. I strongly recommend inspecting your team primary clutch on a regular basis, as failures are reported happening in as little as 1,000 miles. Here's what to look for. Hairline cracking of the clutch towers and cover is common. In this example on a 2019 XF Cross Country 8000, I traced the cracks with a marker at 2,500 miles, which allowed me to see if the cracks progressed over time. The sheaves are also known to crack. This one cracked at 3,300 miles, and I'm pretty sure I heard it when it happened. Once these cracks start, and if not caught in time, they will progress, and the clutch will blow apart, resulting in catastrophic failure of not only the clutch, but also other components around it. Doing a search online shows that there are many examples of the devastation that has occurred. Damage to the belt, belt guard, secondary clutch, exhaust pipe, belly pan, and plastics are all common. In some cases, crankshafts and suspension components have been bent and riders have been injured. Arcticat did issue a recall on 2017 9000 turbo models and 2018 6000, 7000, 8000 and 9000 turbo models within the range of certain VIN numbers. At the time of making this video, it is unknown if Arcticat will be addressing this issue off warranty with any type of compensation or recall to 2019 to 2021 snowmobiles. It appears to be up to the owner to decide what to do. The options are to replace the clutch with the same primary manufactured by team or look at an alternative. The clutch I have chosen for my 2019 cross country is a new ADAP design by Arcticat for model year 2022. Let's look at what parts you will need to upgrade to the ADAP primary clutch. The belt, clutch bolt and ring gear are the same for my application. The ADAP clutch I purchased from Arcticat came uncalibrated, so I had to purchase the correct weights for my altitude, the pin kit to install the weights, as well as the larger spacer for the clutch bolt as this new clutch is narrower in design. The clutch did come with the correct spring for my sled, however this may not always be the case. The ring gear for the electric start is the same for both clutches, but unfortunately the bolts that attach the ring gear are different. At the time of making this video, these bolts are back ordered, so I'm installing the clutch without the ring gear and will pull the rope until the bolts arrive. Since the ADAP clutch is so new, the longevity is unknown. Early reviews appear to be positive, including good performance and belt life, as well as less belt dust compared to the team primary. It does appear to be a well thought out design, and replacing the rollers is simple compared to those previous designs used by Arcticat. When doing this procedure, be sure to order the correct parts for your application, source the correct tools, follow the instructions in the service manual, and torque everything to the proper specifications. It is also recommended when installing a new primary clutch to also install a new drive belt where premature belt failure may occur. If you are not confident in your abilities, take your snowmobile to a trained service professional. Check out the description below for links to additional and updated information as well as other videos on this topic. If you have found the information in this video interesting and helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment. We would like to hear from you about your experience with these snowmobile clutches and do our best to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for tuning in and ride safe.